Hey everybody, this is Kestrel over at Saguno. Thanks so much for joining us for this live event. Today we are going to be talking through our email campaigns and campaign templates. Let's go ahead and get started. So up first, wanted to do a little Q&A. We are going to be recording this session and we'll be sending out that recording tomorrow. Also, please put your questions in the Q&A box. Up next, I'll just do some introductions here. Up first, I am Kestrel Lemon, Senior Strategist over at Zaguno. I have been in the email marketing game for over 10 years. And one thing I'm very excited about is being able to help Shopify merchants make more money through email marketing. And that's exactly what we're going to do here today on this webinar. Up next, we have Brian, who is head of our customer success team. Now, if you've ever worked with anyone in support, uh, that is Brian's team. Maybe you've even spoken with Brian in the past. And then finally, we have our fabulous Catherine, who is our head designer. She is the one who has masterminded the design of these campaigns and campaign templates. Very excited to be able to talk with her later today. Now, if you're new to Saguno, I want to do I want I do want to give you just a little bit of a preview about what Saguno is about. I promise this is the only slide that's really talking about Saguno. Then we'll get into campaigns. But Saguno is the only email marketing app that is specifically made for Shopify and Shopify merchants. It lives right inside your Shopify application. So that means that all of your Shopify data, all the information about your products, your customers, your subscribers, all of that that lives within Shopify immediately transfers over to Saguno when you install it. We also boast a 4.8 star rating on the Shopify app store, which is pretty great. And we have over 50,000 merchants using Saguno. We're very focused on customer service. We're very focused on making sure that you all have the best experience possible when you're creating and sending out your email marketing. And to that end, let's go ahead and get started with the agenda here today. So with the agenda, we are going to talk first through what are campaigns and how do they help you? Really the why of all of this. Why are we doing this? I'm gonna cover that, then I'll hand things over to Brian and he'll be talking about how you can set up campaigns and really how to use them. He's going to actually set up an entire campaign template on this call and show you how easy it can be. And then finally, Catherine is gonna help us take our campaigns to the next level, talking through how you can customize them to really match your brand look and feel. Then we'll go through Q&A. All right, up first, why campaigns? Well, I want to make sure to remind everyone, and if you saw our information around Black Friday, Cyber Monday, some of this might look familiar, but people want to shop small. Um, we're seeing that Shopify store owners, sales are going up year over year, and we're also seeing more people than ever using Shopify. So the model of going direct to consumer is working. People are very motivated to shop with those Shopify merchants. We're also seeing, and this is no surprise because I've seen it for years, that email marketing is the highest converting channel. Don't get me wrong. I love paid advertising. I love those Instagram ads. We certainly use them as a company. But ultimately, email is the highest converting channel. And I love to see that Shopify actually documented that as well. Now, during a busy time of year, like Black Friday, which I know is on the top of everybody's mind, we got to admit that just one message is not going to cut it. You really need more than one in order to break through all of the noise that's in someone's busy inbox. Because at this time of the year, people's inboxes are double, quadruple, 10 times the fullness that they normally are. And just one message is going to get lost in the shuffle. That's why we recommend utilizing campaigns. Now, campaigns work like this. A campaign is a set of newsletters. So let's say four newsletters that all share a specific goal. And usually they should share a theme or look and feel as well. Now, I used Black Friday here as an example because I know that's top of mind. But you could use campaigns during many other times of the year, like Mother's Day or the coming holiday season, or even when you have something special happening, like a product or collection launch is going on. 
Now, here are some examples from a major brand, Fossil, and how they've utilized campaigns, specifically for Black Friday. You'll notice that all of these messages look like siblings. They even share specific content that's been copied and pasted throughout multiple messages. They share similar colors and styles, and they even have the same copy written over and over again in them as well. And you'll probably recognize this example as well. Both of these, by the way, are from our Black Friday Cyber Monday lookbook that you could easily get access to. It's on our holiday hub if you wanna go take a look at more campaign examples. I love this one specifically because I do like to see what a foolproof layout they've utilized here. It's basically an image, some text and then button and then some product recommendations. It's a really simple layout, but considering how many messages they had to create, it makes sense that it's simple. They had to get so many more out the door, right? Now, the big takeaways for campaigns that I want you to pay attention to is once again, one message isn't going to cut it. For Black Friday, I'm going to recommend at least four messages. Then in your campaigns, you should have a consistent look and feel. It really helps build brand recognition. Now, brand recognition isn't something to overlook. I know it might seem fluffy or it might seem daunting, but brand recognition really comes down to consistency because by being consistent, you're building trust and people buy from brands they trust. So we want to do everything we can to make sure that you're consistent and we're building that trust. And by having multiple messages with the same look and feel, it helps build that consistency. And then finally, make sure to address any trust issues that your customers might have during the campaign. So specifically, uh, think about it this way. During Black Friday, a lot of people might be worried about product availability. Is the product going to run out? Or they might be worried about shipping. So I would make sure to address shipping in almost every message I send out because I know it's going to be a top concern. You want to be able to address the friction point before someone even has the chance to question it. That way you're putting them at ease and once again, helping out with trust. Now, today, what you all have been waiting for, we're going to first talk through campaigns. Campaigns is something new that we've released you are able to create a campaign and then put in the newsletters that go within that campaign. Then at the campaign level, you'll be able to see the timeline that the newsletters are going to go out as you schedule them. And then you'll also be able to see aggregated reporting data. So you'll be able to see the aggregate delivery rate, open rate, and click rate. Why this is really useful is that over time, you can start to see how these campaigns are performing and you'll become a smarter and smarter merchant. Next, let's say that you just do not have time to build out all of those messages within the campaign. Well, that's why we created campaign templates. They come with four newsletters within each template that you can customize as you'd like. Now, all you need to do is just put in your products and put in a subject line and you're good to go. However, if you want to, you can definitely put in more and customize them a lot of different ways, which Catherine will help show us. We also even included recommended send times so that we took even more guess out work out of it for you. So you can just send at the times that we recommend you sending, or you can set up specific times that you would like to send. These also work with remails, so you can put those in as well if you want. Now, let's go ahead and pass things over to Brian, and he's going to show you how you can set up and use a campaign template. Brian, over to you. All right, thanks, Kestrel. I am so excited to show off campaigns because I think this is a feature that can really help our merchants this year by taking all of those things that we've been talking about in the webinars with the, the email design and the calendar and all of the different tips and tricks that we have and just baking them into one really easy to use feature. So what I'm gonna do for the next 10 minutes or so is actually go through and make one of these campaigns. And I am going to customize it to work for our store here, Madison Page. So before I get started, I do want to get uh, a couple of kind of just homework items out of the way uh, that I would do probably just in general for my shop. But because I plan to use those in the newsletters, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a product collection for my Black Friday. So let me come into my products down to collections here. And I've already created this one just for the sake of time, but you can create a new collection easily in Shopify. And then just come down here and I'm creating Black Friday 2021. I also created my gifts holiday 2021 as well. 
You can create all sorts of gift guides in here if you want to. So gifts for him, gifts for her, um, gifts for yourself, whatever you want to do. But I've just got a nice selection of products that we have uh, kind of listed out. And you'll notice I've done a little bit of kind of strategic organization because this is going to help with my merchandising when I get into the email. So notice I've got a top, bottom, top, bottom, and so forth. I did the same thing within my gifts holiday collection. Um, this one, I just took it to the next level. I did top, uh, or top, top, bottom, bottom, shoes, shoes. And we'll see a little bit more about that layout uh, when we get into the messages themselves. But you can kind of play around with it a little bit more fun. So I've got a couple product collections that I'm gonna use within that campaign. And then I also wanna offer a discount that comes through. So we'll come into the discount section here and I may come down to Black Friday 2021. And I actually created a Black Friday discount code for a percentage 30% off. And I've assigned this one to the, to the excuse me, specific discount or excuse me, specific collection uh, that we have for this discount. So I'm gonna use this more as kind of an early access insider only uh, deal that we have going through here. So now that we have this set, let's jump right into Saguno and let's create the campaign. So let me come down into my Saguno app. Here we go. <clears throat> Let me go to my newsletters tab because the campaign is really that collection of newsletters that Kestrel is talking about, where one message doesn't get it done. We really want to try multiple messages throughout. So come into newsletters and over here to campaigns, and I'm just going to go ahead and click create new campaign. Now you can absolutely start a campaign from scratch. So if you have unsent newsletters, you can use those. Um, you can create the messages on the fly if you like. Or what I'm actually going to use is one of our professionally designed templates. Um, so we've got Catherine who's going to be showing you some awesome tips and tricks on how to use these templates later on, customize them more on your own. Um, but I'm going to use that wavy Black Friday uh, template that she created uh, for my campaign. So I'll go ahead and select that. And I'm going to start off just by putting in a name. This is internal only. You'll see it in the menu. Your customers will not see it. So come up with something really creative, like the exact promotion and a timestamp. Um, it really needs to make it easy for you to go back and find those later on. Now we're gonna select one featured collection to be used throughout the campaign, uh, but we'll actually be able to go back and change that later on. So I'm just gonna start us off with Black Friday 2021 collection, and let's go ahead and add that and click create campaign. So as we do that, what's going on is we're actually creating four different newsletters in your, uh, in your <clears throat> account uh, using that campaign uh, template and along with those products. So what you'll see right here is that we've got four messages laid out with kind of different style. They are kind of designed at this point more for kind of like a beauty with kind of our essential oils and moisturizers, hand cream uh, background we have, have here. What I need to do is take this campaign and make it my own. Even though I've got my products in there, I do need to do some customization. So we're going to jump in really quickly and do just a few customizations for each one of these messages uh, to get us moving. So we'll go ahead and click view here. And what we're going to do is go in and start customizing this message. Uh, that we have directly within. All right, now let's see what we've got here for where we're going to customize that message. Um, so what I want to start off with is really that hero image to start with. That's not what we're selling, uh, not very consistent with our brand. So I'm going to come into the image section that corresponds to it, and I'm just going to swap it out. So I'm going to change that image. And I've got a couple of fun pictures that I have here, so I'm just going to use this little girl with the fur-lined coat. And I'm going to make sure that when I swap that image out, which already kind of plays into the colors and uh, my products went a little bit better, let me go ahead and change that alt text as well. So little girl wearing fashionable, oh, let's spell that again, fur-lined coat. And I've got that one set, so I'm going to go right back to that. And then we're just going to kind of scroll down, and you'll see that my product layout actually worked out to kind of have an outfit there. So I've got my top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom throughout and a really nice look and feel throughout the uh, message. Now, before I get back to it, I do wanna set my subject line and my preview text. So I'll come into the subject line. And if you're as creative as I am, you really have a hard time coming up with subject lines on the fly for that. Don't worry, we've got Kestrel, we've got Catherine, we've got all the experts here to write these out for you. So come into Kestrel's newest blog post, subject line and text copy. Um, and then we'll be able to actually use those uh, throughout the message. So I've got that one set where I can just basically, uh, excuse me, I've got this one saved uh, through the resources and blog page. Um, so you can just go to saguno.com. If you haven't used our blog before or checked out our blog before, definitely check that out. We've got a lot of really valuable content. And then we can just go ahead and grab one of these. So I'm just going to copy that early access to Black Friday sales and drop that right into the subject line. Now for preview text, this should really be about what to expect in the message itself. 
So my favorite, favorite tactic to come up with that is just to basically use the message content that you have in here. So we're gonna get really creative again. Black Friday starts now for, let's try that again, for insiders only. And we're gonna say save site-wide on all the goods before anyone else. Now I'm alluding to a discount here and we are actually going to assign a discount for this message specifically for my early access. So I'm really trying to emphasize that, hey, you're an insider, you're subscribed, you get a special value here. It's not just site-wide. So we're gonna go here to save and let's go back to the newsletter and assign that discount code that we talked about earlier. So we'll come and do our discount, edit the discount. We're gonna generate a unique code for each uh, recipient. So we're gonna do 20 Black Friday, 21, which goes back to that discount code that I have created in Shopify. Uh, and that's just gonna be automatically integrated within Saguno. So that when I save it, we're gonna use that as the parent or the primary code and then create variant codes or uh, child codes underneath that one. Now this one doesn't really mesh with the design. So I'm actually gonna come back in to customize it. And what I wanna do, instead of doing the banner at the top, I'm gonna to use another section I really like called a discount callout. And the discount call is gonna create a very action-oriented section down here at the bottom. So I've got 30% off $50 purchase, shop now, use this specific collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that one set and save. So I've customized this message pretty quickly. It took me just a few minutes, a blog post, a different image, and I am ready to go back up to the campaign and move on to my second message. Now the second message is it's here, Black Friday is here, we are going to go right into the products. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually customize this one as well. And because I really want to create an action oriented, hey, not a whole lot of extra frills in this message itself. Let's go ahead and scroll down here to the image. And I'm just going to hide this. I'm just going to reduce some of this extra space. So I'm going to say it's here, Black Friday sale. I've got that big bold call to action and I'm getting straight into the products. Now I've got that one set. I'm gonna use the same collection that I had previously, but you could absolutely go into your featured collection and change it. I'm actually gonna do that on my next message, but really just gonna quickly uh, call this one out to say, let's kick things off. And subject line, we're gonna go with something again, really creative, it's here. And say Black Friday sale is on. Our biggest sale of the season starts now. So I've got that one set and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. We're gonna go back to the newsletter and I'm actually going to leave the discount code off of this one because my plan is I'm actually gonna create an automatic discount that'll go site wide for this one. So this is really just trying to drive people back to the site. But if you're not a subscriber, I still want you to buy on Black Friday. It is my biggest promotion of the year. So I've got that set. Now let's go back up to the campaign again and we're gonna keep working on through these other messages. So I've got message number three, which this one's really about driving the sense of urgency with that countdown timer at the top. So we're gonna play into that one a little bit more uh, as we customize this message. So we'll go through here. Um, again, I'm going to hide this hero image, but you're welcome to go ahead and put something else if you want. And I'm gonna change from this collection, which they just saw earlier in the morning, uh, to I'm gonna to go to my uh, gifts collection. So gifts holiday 2021. And again, I did some outfitting here. So I've got tops organized, bottoms, and then I've got my shoes kind of laid out. And this is really cool. So this plays in not only really well on desktop, but when you look, on, look at it on mobile, it really kind of creates kind of an outfit uh, that's really easy for the subscriber to shop there. Now I've got my big countdown timer right there across the top, and that's what I'm gonna count on for my uh, subject line and preview text this time. So let's play into that a little bit more. It's the final countdown. And I'm gonna say Black Friday sale on soon. Only a few hours left for our biggest sale of the year. I've got that one set and I am ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that one here. And then let's go ahead and go back to the newsletter. And there's one other thing I'm gonna set. All right, we've got that set. Excuse me, one other thing I wanna set on the campaign and that's that fourth message. Now in this case, what we're actually gonna do for the strategy is use a sale extended. So we've got our Tuesday early access, our Friday Black Friday sale starts sale ends soon, and then that Saturday message sale extended. So we're gonna come back in, we're gonna view this one, and let's go ahead and customize that. And I'm gonna do something a little bit more fun. I do wanna put an image in there, just something a little more playful. 
So I've got this fun kind of weekend vibes, having a cup of coffee. Go ahead and update that alternate text as well. So girl drinking, well, let's assume it's hot chocolate because she doesn't need to be having coffee right now. In a fur lined coat. Very fashionable. I'm probably a little bit jealous of this. Uh, so we've got that one set. We can go ahead and update our featured collection again. Change the collections around if you want to highlight the variety of products because these different collections or different categories as you go through. Just for now, I'm going to keep using my holiday gift guide because I like the way that that's kind of laid out there. So we've got those ones set, and I'm going to kind of just kind of work my way through here. Come back. We're going to go back up to our subject line and preview text, and I'm going to go with something playful here. The party's not over. We didn't want you to miss out. So we've extended our set. And even kind of playing with that small business Saturday uh, concept that Kestrel was alluding to earlier. All right. Play into that a little bit more and I've got that one set. And really in just a couple minutes, I was able to customize four newsletters uh, to be able to work for my brand and my cam uh, campaign here. So I've got some awesome products, got some sense of urgency, building some trust with that avoid shipping delay banner there. And I've got my sale ending soon. Again, a sense of urgency there and sale extended for all those procrastinators like myself. Now I do need to go ahead and schedule those. So like we mentioned, we've got these kind of pre-recommended best times to schedule. We've built those in. So when you hit schedule now, we've got those scheduled out. You just need to adjust them if you want. So if you're normal sending at seven o'clock, great. I'm gonna send at seven o'clock, or, or excuse me, nine o'clock, great. If I'm gonna send at seven o'clock while I'm drinking a cup of coffee. So I've got that one scheduled for there. Now the day of, we're gonna get started nice and early again. So let's do seven o'clock. Perfect, sale and soon, let's see what we have. Six o'clock, that's the last couple hours there. Now I can play right into that or I can adjust it. I'm probably gonna leave that six o'clock is pretty nice. And then for the last chance, that sale extended message, let's go ahead and schedule that one to go out. Again, it's going out on that Saturday, small business Saturday, uh, nine o'clock, nine in the morning there. So just like that, I have taken four messages. I've scheduled it out. I've got my whole Black Friday campaign ready to go. Uh, four unique messages. I've got a promotion assigned for early access. I've got different products, different collections. It was really easy for me to build that whole thing out. And it only took me about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so I'm really excited what this can do for a lot of our merchants this year. Uh, you can take these campaigns, you can make them your own, and you can really uh, drive a lot more revenue. One message is not going to do it. Like Kestrel said, you've got to send four messages. You've got to send more to get noticed during these busy times of year. Now, I did all of this uh, customizing for Madison Page, which is just our demo shop. Um, we're doing children's clothes, but you know, all of your shops are different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pass it over to Catherine, who's going to take these templates and some other ones that we have, and she's going to show you some other tips and tricks on how to uh, customize those and make them a little bit more, uh, excuse me, make them a little bit more wrong. Now, I do want to mention if Wavy is not really your style, she's going to be talking about some other campaign templates as well. Um, so if you come into our template store, you can actually preview multiple templates that we have available. We've got our classic Black Friday, natural Black Friday, the wavy one that we were just working on. And we've got those set up for both Black Friday and for Cyber Monday. Now, if you're looking at one of those campaigns and kind of wondering what the aesthetic is that goes along with it, just click preview campaign there. And we're actually gonna give you a preview of all four messages that come along as part of this campaign template, along with tips and tricks to make it your own. So if you're kind of looking at this and you think, hey, I'm interested in this, but I don't know how to customize it. Catherine's got recorded videos for every one of these campaigns where she takes this message that we're starting with and she turns it into the uh, example that you see over on the other side. So watch those videos. They're fantastic. Uh, they're going to give you a lot of other great ideas. But now, you know, let's get some of those ideas from Catherine herself. So Catherine, talk me through how you would customize some of these campaigns and some of your favorite things to play with. Hey everyone, Catherine here, and I'm excited to show you how easy it is to customize campaign templates in Saguno. So I know a few of you are thinking, um, customize, I am going to pop in a subject line and schedule these as quickly as I can. 
and I totally hear you, but bear with me um, because these customizations are only going to take a few minutes and we'll be adding something really important to your message, which is brand recognition. Um, so Kestrel mentioned this earlier, but that's the ability for your audience to distinguish your brand from a competing brand in the marketplace. And your consistent use of your logo, colors, fonts, um, images, tone of voice, all of that provide those recognizable cues to your audience. It starts at your Shopify store, but it extends to your packaging, your social media, and of course, your email marketing. So we really want to make sure every newsletter and every campaign looks and feels as much like your brand as possible. And I'm going to show you a few customizations um, that are going to be most effective in doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. And we'll start with my store. So this might look familiar. This is Shopify's newest 2.0 free theme, Dawn. But for the sake of our demonstration today, let's pretend this is my brand. So here's my store, pretty minimalist, chic. I'm selling shoes and bags, really industrial and interesting looking leather goods. And you can see I'm, I'm keeping it pretty lean and clean in terms of my design. So the first step in terms of customizing a template is choosing a template that best matches the look and feel of your store. So when I look at my Black Friday campaign template options, I am seeing classic Black Friday, natural Black Friday, and wavy Black Friday, all a good start. When I preview natural Black Friday, one of the things that stands out to me is how the font already kind of looks like the font I'm using on my site, it's really minimalist, and I feel like these elements could be easy for me to work with. So this is the one I'm going to pick. Already saving you time because these are four messages that are already in line with my site and my branding. So let's go ahead and say I'm ready to customize my first message. Here I'm in the natural campaign template Black Friday message. And you can see the things that have already been pulled in once I created my campaign. So my logo is already here and the products that I've selected as part of my collection are here and everything else is sort of that placeholder content that comes with the template. If you are using header menu, that's gonna show here as well. I'm not in my uh, theme settings, so I don't have a menu displaying here. Okay, so it's time to customize. Now you can tell right away the one customization I'm going to need to make at a bare minimum is swapping out or removing this image because I do not sell furniture. As lovely as the placeholder image is, it's not representative of my brand. So that's really the first customization that I recommend you make is simply hide or replace elements that don't fit your branding. I can very quickly hide this and I still have a pretty compelling hero graphic. My products are in the message and I would be able to send this without it reflecting poorly on my brand in any way. So keeping it just really clean and simple, you know, is definitely an option, but I think I can take it a step further. So instead of removing that image section, I'm going to swap in one of my brand images and I'm going to choose one that kind of fits with the, with the colors of the message. So picking up on some of these kind of creamy natural hues. So I'm going to choose a product image that kind of fits that. Um, and that seems to work. It creates sort of a thoughtful design. And again, I think we could send this. We've got additional brand imagery in there um, and it feels representative of my shop. All right. Now, what if we could add even more brand recognition, make this feel even more custom? So that's when you can look back to the work you've already done on your site for inspiration. Um, so just remember, this is work you've already done in terms of crafting your brand. It's just leaning into that and adding that into the email. And sometimes that's as easy as removing elements. So here, I'm just going to remove the background here and just change that background color to black um, because those gold hues, you know, I don't think necessarily would work. Let's just say for my design here, this image with text overlay section, I'm using a lot of like cool metals um, and like sort of organic geometric shapes. Am I using my words right? What I'm trying to say is there's not a lot of flowers on my site. So I might go ahead and remove that from my background here. Now to keep things from looking too, too boring, I might choose to use a different image here. 
um, one that kind of adds a bit of a pop of color. So let's go for it. Here's a really cool bright blue one from my site that I know is gonna add a ton of visual interest. All right. And here in the bottom of the message as well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull that out. And we can keep it kind of that cool green. That works for me. Now, a few more customizations I might make in order to make this feel a little bit more designed and it's not gonna to take too much time. I'm gonna move my text up into the image with text overlay section here. It's as easy as highlight, copy and paste, and then scale down the size. So now it's sitting right there. And because this is an image with text overlay section, my button is already built in. So I'm simply gonna say shop now. Make sure my button text is as high contrast as I like. And I might even kind of adjust where this sits in terms of vertical alignment. All right, so now I've got kind of a nice spacious hero section and I can just hide those other elements that now I'm not using the rich text and the button. All right, very cool. If there's other button elements in the message that you would like to change, one comes to mind for me, which is this green button here. You can easily go ahead and change that if you like by going into your theme settings and colors and then finding the color button that matches. Here you can tell I'm using a secondary button. It's changing that to a black to align with the overall look and feel. All right, so now I've made a few more customizations to make this message feel even more my own, um, taking away some of the elements that I didn't feel like were a total match and just kind of leaning into the fact that simple can be better, but we can take it a step farther than that. And that's by adjusting even more of the spacing making total alignment with the design direction on my site, and then injecting even more of my brand photography and imagery into the message. Let me show you what I mean. So here in this image with text overlay section, instead of just keeping this black background, I might select another of my brand images that I know is gonna look really good with text overlay. I'll simply change my section height to make that a little bit larger and show off more of the message. And I'm pretty happy with that direction. One change I think I might make is to the vertical alignment here, setting this at the top and simply returning the text until it fits in the middle where I like. Not bad. Now I can go in and hide this additional image section and this additional spacer. In this bottom image with text overlay section, I can select an image as well and change the formatting of my button so it stands out a little bit more. All right, that really pops. Now, the last thing I want to check is um, some of the additional styling on my site. If you go back to my site, you'll see that I am using not all caps in my buttons. It seems like a minor detail, but it's again, just kind of adding to the consistency between email and e-com. So I'm gonna make that change here too. Going into my theme settings, typography, and choosing to make buttons, not uppercase. There. And now I'm seeing even greater alignment between the elements in my message and the elements on my site. And I'm feeling really good about my direction of my campaign. There's going to be no doubt that this is coming from my brand. Um, and I'm excited to see how people respond. So without too much time or too much effort, you can make these kinds of customizations to your messages to build even greater brand recognition and to set yourself up for a super successful campaign. Thank you so much, Catherine, for walking us through kind of your process and just to kind of you know, go through that just a little bit, because I know you had a lot of really great points there. And I think that some of them are, are like, let's make sure to kind of encapsulate that a little bit. Um, 
for one, you know, take a look at your website and then see like roughly doesn't have to be an exact match because obviously you can customize things quite a bit if you wanted to, but like ba basically what would be maybe a good vibe. And for this like very minimalist style, we chose the natural. I really like the natural also, but I think wavy's perfect for a lot of different types of brands. And so is, yeah. you know, the classic, like, I think there's, I think they're all very flexible. And then we also, when we're looking at just creating those customizations in general, uh, you had some great tips there that I want to make sure to, to point out. So you had some simple swaps where you can just select your collection, you add in some brand imagery and hide any elements you don't feel like doing. I mean, you know, very simple. That's like, you know, like I got to get this out the door, which we all understand. And we made sure that these were like ready for you. Then you could do some more thoughtful edits if you wanted to bring in some of your brand colors into the message overall, tweak the copy a little bit. By the way, within that subject line blog post that's got all the subject lines, like 30 subject lines, we also put in some copy in there. And Catherine and I both worked on that copy. There's copy for discounts and for people who aren't doing discounts, but there's some copy in there for you to look at too, if you wanted to. And then if you really want to go full bull, you know, you could do a lot more. You could mirror the styles specific to your site, um, add in more brand imagery, adjust, start tweaking the padding, so on and so forth. Did I catch everything there, Catherine? Yeah, I would say so. And I think like those really small kind of like finishing touches, like think of those as like um, like sort of like cherry on top in terms of building that brand recognition. But obviously we really want to be cognizant of the amount of time that you're working with. So if you've got more time and you feel comfortable and confident making those tweaks, I say they're totally worth it. I do have a small star there next to use your brand colors and fonts. Cause I will say if there's a specific color that's like really key or critical to your brand, like you always use a neon yellow in your branding, okay, I'm just going to be honest. Like we don't have a campaign template. That's like got a lot of neon yellow in it. So do make sure if there are critical brand identity elements that are unique to your brand, um, make sure that those are in there. Cause that's going to be important in terms of people recognizing the messaging, recognizing your brand and continuing to build that trust and relationship that Kestrel was talking about. So just wanted to add that little note. No, that's a, that's a great note, Catherine. Thank you for for mentioning that, of course, like when we think of certain brands and they use certain colors over and over again, we really want to make sure to see those colors throughout their messaging and you know, everywhere else we see the brand. Yeah. All right. Well, I know we've got some urgent questions that we want to make sure to answer. I've just got a few goodies for everybody here today uh, that I want to make sure to point out. Uh, please, if you haven't had a chance to go and check out our YouTube page, go check it out. We publish a lot of really fun things on there. We've got product updates. Catherine and I do an email review and makeover called the email edit. It's a fun little show that we've got there on our YouTube channel. Um, you can see Shopify merchants just like you. We review their messages and then we pick one at random and Catherine gives it a makeover. It's really a fun, it's, it's a really fun time for us. We like it a lot. And then every month I come out with what to send that month. So earlier this month, we released what to send in November. Uh, I've got some great tips in there for you. And believe it or not, I'll be working on and we'll have what to send in December coming up pretty soon. So um, there's always something new on there. We publish a lot of different things and more is always to come. Then the holiday hub. We've talked about this a lot. Um, I'm sure you've been there because you probably had to go there to sign up for this, but we're going to keep coming out with content right now. Obviously we're really focused on black Friday, cyber Monday, but very soon after BFCM is over, we're going to be really focused more on holiday content and stuff that you can do kind of last minute before, you know, shipping dates end to make sure that you're getting the most out of the holiday season. So even though black Friday, cyber Monday is coming to a close soon ish, right? Uh, not too soon. Don't worry. Still plenty of time. Uh, we will have more content on there for the holidays. We've got the lookbook on there where you can see more examples of email campaigns from great brands. And then we also have a masterclass. So we've got a fully recorded, digestible, on-demand class for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at that, highly recommend it. And now um, here we are. It's time kind of for up and, and for questions. And I wanted to go ahead and just really quickly 
we had some good questions that people had given to me before uh, the event had even happened today. And I wanted to make sure that we address some of those. So first up, um, putting the discounts into newsletters. Brian, I think that you, you did go through that a little bit, but could we see that again, how we would put discounts into newsletters in campaigns? Yeah, absolutely. We can we can do that. And I actually had a couple other uh, questions that um, I've been trying to answer that I wanted to demo on the screen. Um, oh, yeah. How to, you know, somebody really took your advice to heart that one message won't work. So they're actually going to do a six message campaign uh, for Black Friday. So I want to show you how you can use the templates that we've already created and duplicate those. Oh, yeah. So let me go ahead and pull up my screen here real quick. Just one moment. All right. How's that look? We're back in Segur now. Yep, I can see it. Awesome. So the first thing that we want to talk about was the discounts in there. And in my example, uh, I apologize, I only used it for the first one because I was really just trying to do it for the insider sale. Uh, and then I was going to use an automatic discount site-wide uh, for Black Friday itself. But what we can do is actually come back into the campaign itself. <clears throat> We're going to open it back up, Black Friday 2021. That's why naming is clear names are important. So we can jump back into these later on. And then I've got the discount assigned on the first one, but if I want to assign it onto the second one or onto the third or the fourth, I'm just going to select view. And then just like we're used to seeing with our settings panel when we create a newsletter here, we'll come down to the discount section, select edit, and then we can either generate a unique code for each recipient or we can share the same generic code with everybody. So I'll just bring that back in, Black Friday 21. Let's double check. There we go. Discount percentage for 30% off. And I can go ahead and add that. Now I've got it right up there across the top, which is going to be the banner with the important section right across the top or down at the bottom. We've got the um, kind of the fine print. But if you want to, we can customize this in the section that I used earlier, um, which I really like is the uh, discount call out. So instead of having just the banner at the top and the bottom, uh, I like it because it really brings a lot of attention there. We'll come in, discount call out. We'll go ahead and add that. And then you'll see that we've got this section down below, 30% uh, offsite purchase. Now, when you have that, you can continue to show the banner on the top and the bottom, or we can just go ahead and hide that. So we get right into the message content. We still, we're talking about the sale. They know there's a sale. It's just when they scroll down to the bottom that they would see that more of a kind of action oriented section there. And then we can kind of play around with where we want to put it. Um, in terms of kind of the styling of the, the section. So again, that's really easy to do. And the, the cool thing with this is if you wanna run multiple promotions, so say you wanna do a, a sale on a certain collection early and then you know thinking about later on, let's say we wanna do like a multiple days of gifting, we could actually have a discount that is assigned to each message, a different discount that's assigned to each message for it. So maybe our 30% off instead of being site-wide it's only off of that particular collection that we're highlighting in the message. Um, and again, all of those price rules, because it's fully integrated with Shopify, they're gonna be based on the settings that we have here. Um, so I just came back into my discount section and you can see that right there, I've got it set to specific collection for Black Friday 21. So really nice to be able to kind of do that more individualized section there. All right, the other question I wanted to highlight real quick was around duplicating messages um, and being able to keep that party going even longer um, because there's money on the table. We don't want to leave that behind. Yeah, can't so leave money on the table, guys. No money Everyone. on the table. We know, we know we can't leave it there. What we're going to do is we're going to come back to our newsletter tab. And we've actually seen that we have, when I created the campaign, we went ahead and built four newsletters as part of that campaign. So we can go ahead and just select whichever one we feel like we wanted to, uh, as closest to what we want to go for. And we'll just go ahead and duplicate that. We're going to do Black Friday just because I need to come up with another one. Right, subject line. Um, deals for days. I saw one that was stay home and shop the other day. Oh, it's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that stood out. It's a, yeah, that's an influence I want in my life, though. You know, someone who's uh, crying, just stay home and shop. Yeah, stay home. Yeah, just chill yeah. out. Keep the car going. On your it's couch. Hard. See, you see how easy it is to distract me? <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and duplicate that. So I've duplicated the message. Now, when I did, you'll notice that if I come back to the newsletters, it's not assigned to that campaign itself. So I'm actually going to come back into my campaigns. 
select my Black Friday campaign, and then down at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and select add newsletter. These are all of the unsent newsletters that I've created. So all I need to do is go ahead and select that, hit add newsletter. I have now pulled it into that campaign, which is gonna be really useful for aggregated reporting. So we're gonna be able to see engagement on the newsletter level and on the overall campaign level. And we're gonna be able to schedule it as part of that. You notice this one's not scheduled and it's just kind of floating up here at the top. But when I go ahead and I say, I want to, oh, where did we go? There we go. We'll go ahead and schedule this one. We'll keep that going. We're going to pick a day, say, I don't know, Thursday at four o'clock. You'll notice that it's going to fall directly into the timeline. So again, really easy for me to see how or kind of what the customer experience is like. So we'll get that Thursday uh, and then we kind of keep it going. Oh my goodness. I'm on the complete wrong week here, um, but you guys kind of get where we're going for that one. Pause delivery. Let's try this again. I just love celebrating it a little bit too early. There we go. Now we dropped it right in uh, along this lines. So a couple of really cool, easy things. You can duplicate those messages. You can save them for later on. Uh, kind of keep it going. Um, so so really yep. easy to uh, to use this. And also, Brian, you can also create remails for those. You can messages you can create if remails you for to. those. And the, you know, remailing is one of my favorite newsletter strategies, just in general, uh, because it's just like printing free money or taking the money off the table again. Yeah. Um, it, but when you think about it in terms of a campaign, and this goes along with remails or with our our discount reminder automation, um, you really want to be able to control the message that goes along with it and have more context for it. So remails might be effective. Just make sure that it doesn't step on the toes of another message in that campaign. Um, and then the discount reminder, we actually don't want to use that discount reminder with campaign messages most of the time. We'd rather send a message that is specific to that promotion overall. So we need the additional context of you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Mother's Day, New Year, New You, whatever the promotion might be, you want to pull that uh, along with the design element directly in there. Yep. And just so everyone knows, a uh, remail is when you send the same message to everyone who did not open the first time. And so you just change out the subject line. Um, so it is a tried and true email marketing tip. However, because obviously you get more mileage out of one message. It's just that we try to be pretty careful with them because you don't want to appear kind of repetitive to your audience. But during a busy time of year, it's nice to be able to sprinkle those in for, so I know for someone wanted to do the whatever it takes strategy that we talked about last week, that's where I would sprinkle in, sprinkle in some remails from the uh, campaigns that you created. I would just go ahead and do a remail on those to kind of help boost out uh, more messages within that campaign. And then um, we also had a question come in about Flipbook and how you can use that. Catherine, would you mind maybe going through a little bit of, you, you're great with doing stuff with Flipbook. I love Flipbook. It's one of my favorite sections that we have. I think it's really fun and super easy to use. And I can pretty much do all the, I do all the work within Saguno. I don't have to leave and do anything, which is great. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to show off a little a little flipbook action. Give me a give me a second here. Let me pull up. Let me pull up my message again. So flipbook is a section within Saguno where essentially you set up a series of images, and then just like when you were a kid and you drew like stick figures on post its and then flipped it, it's like that. So you like see each one in consecutive order, and then it looks like a little mini GIF if you want like that. Or you can do very different images and they go back and forth too. Um, there's a bunch of you know, different ways that you can kind of slice and dice that. All right. I'm excited for this section. Go ahead and, and jump in here. Okay, can everybody see, see my screen okay? Yep, we can see okay. it. Cool, all right. So I'm back in the message at the very beginning here back at sort of this Black Friday sale, natural campaign template. I just went ahead and removed this image just to kind of show you guys what, what we're gonna be working with. So um, this image section, if you wanted that to be like flipbook instead, I'd say, let's go ahead and hide it and go down and add flipbook. It's right here, just gonna add it. And then I'm gonna drag it back up to where my image was. Okay, so now it's living there. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly reference even like what my width was for this image. Cause I might want to keep the styling the same you, but you could make that call, but let's go ahead and say, yeah, I want to go ahead and make this a little bit different get this inset. We'll figure that out. Okay. So next add content. I'm going to select my image. Select one shows up here. Add content again, select a different image shows up here and they're simply going to gif back and forth like this i can edit the delay between them edit whether or not there's any kind of delay before looping um, and i can even get super creative with this section so let's say i want to add content i don't want to select an image i want to design a total new one i'll go with canva go ahead and add some square dimensions here We could even get creative and make a black background, add some text. Let's call it one that looks like my brand ish. I don't know. See one? Do you see one that you like? Uh, dazzle. That dazzle yeah. one. Dazzle looks good. All right. Center, center that up. Let's go ahead and say publish. Oh, I don't know where it went. Just, just disappeared on me. Is it here? No. Yeah, that's weird. Did I not? I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Maybe. Anything. Yeah. Maybe. Was I too quick on the draw, Kestrel? Yeah, have been. Sometimes we're just so quick. <laughs> may have sometimes been today. we work a little too just fast. Just moving too fast. Oh, it's up at the top. If you scroll Is it there. The top. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. You are my time saver. Mm -hmm. Guys, really, I normally delay Catherine's design <laughs> quite a bit. No. That's actually the behind the scenes. <laughs> Sorry. I was normally can we delaying. tweak this one design? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so now I'm going to say publish. I think it's going to work. There we go. Canva's giving me its. Yeah. Okay, so now it's it's there. It's in there. And now I do want to add a little bit of a delay. So now now I might even I might even ha hide some of these other elements. Yeah. And now we've got something like this. Yeah. And just like that, got some movement in the message. It's some pretty idea. razzle dazzle. It's kind of razzle like dazzle. It. It's pretty yeah. simple. Canva right there. It's kind of helpful. Yeah. No, I think so. Yeah. All right. Um, Brian, did you see any other questions that you wanted to, I know we've been answering questions a lot throughout today's uh, presentation, but was there any other question that you wanted to make sure to call out? Yeah. Just uh, taking a look through a few of them and Catherine kind of gave the, the, uh, hint for those. So some of the elements that you might want to change, um, you may need to just kind of change colors or customize. If you want to go for a really custom feel, you want to use custom fonts, all that kind of stuff. Canva allows you to do that. Um, and I know this is a really common question, but um, within Saguna's uh, rich text sections, we do try to keep it to web safe fonts so we know that they're going to render properly on all uh, browsers and recipient inboxes. Um, but if you have that really important branding that Catherine was talking about with your uh, neon yellow or whatever font you might do, uh, use, you can actually use that in Canva to create an image. And that way the font is going to render as part of the image. Now, be sure to keep your image sizes down. This is another question that we had uh, where somebody mentioned that they get a lot of errors for trying to upload images and saying the file size is too small. In general, you want the entire size of the message to be less than five megabytes. Um, and that's going to keep you from getting clipped on Gmail. And if you haven't seen an email that gets clipped on Gmail, uh, I'm sure now you're going to be on the uh, on the lookout for it. But basically, they say, you know what, that's long enough, and they just stop your message halfway through. Um, and that can be really detrimental to your promotion. Um, so you don't want to run into that trap. Saguna is going to give you warnings. So if you are a common offender of having really long emails, you, uh, you'll see kind of the wrap it up box there at the top uh, saying this message is getting a little long or this message is too long, remove unnecessary content. Reducing the image size can help along with that as well. Um, but basically, we're just saying that, hey, some of the recipient inboxes, they just aren't going to load that full message. Um, and so you just want to kind of reduce the sizes there. If you have other questions and you just can't think of them right now, um, 
Absolutely. We have support available live chat. If you haven't used live chat in Saguno, fantastic available during business hours, uh, nine to five Eastern time. Um, if you are working while we are not available on um, live chat, you can open up an email case and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, I think, you know, we all came into the office at nine o'clock this morning. And when I checked to see how many cases we had from yesterday at 930, it was approximately zero. Um, so we get back to those generally within the same day uh, that you asked those the same business day. Um, you know, sometimes we've got the answer right away. Other times we might want to ask a little bit more questions. Um, but really, support team is fantastic. We really want to help you get the most out of um, campaigns and templates and understand how to use Sugino. You know, uh, we really are here to help you uh, during this pretty critical time of year. Um, oh. I didn't see any other questions that were too crazy. Um, um, Kester, do you have some other ones? Well, somebody just asked, this is a good one, Catherine, it's for you. Um, suggested sizes for images. Yes. This is a really popular question in terms of image sizes. I think it ultimately depends on kind of like the design that you're going for. So when you say image size, are you talking about an image that you're using in a banner? I would assume you're probably talking about a hero image, yeah? Let's let's assume hero image. So, so we, like the big the big image up at the top of the message. Yeah, okay. So if we're going for that, we definitely want to think in terms of um, retina quality. And not everyone may be familiar with this term. So just as a quick refresher, when we talk about a retina quality image, it actually has two times the number of pixels um, in the image so that it looks nice and crisp and clear on retina quality screens, which more and more increasingly are. Um, so in terms of your image design, you're gonna think two times the width and the height of what you're going to use it for. So let's say you wanna create a square hero image in your email. Your email is 600 pixels wide. So to make a square, we're gonna do 1200 by 1200. That way it's a super clear, crisp image that we're designing. Um, so then just kind of apply that to any other area that you're gonna be designing. You want something that's sort of longer, you want something that's thinner, make sure it's kind of two times the intended height, but it's pretty much always gonna be 1200 pixels wide um, if it, you want it to be full width in your message. So hopefully that's a helpful kind of general guideline. Just think two times, two times the size. Yep. No, that sounds great. Um, another question that I just perused and I wanted to make sure everybody knew is, you know, to, in order to use the Canva integration, you do need to have a Canva account. They are free. You can, of course, upgrade to pro. I love Canva. It's definitely worth the free account for how much, how many messages or how many images you can just create on the fly. Super easy. Even if you just use it for your email, um, even though I promise you, once you start using Canva, for email, you're going to start wanting to use it for many other things. Uh, we now use it for our presentations, for our work, workbooks. We use Canva a lot. We're big Canva users over here. So I would recommend that, uh, especially because it'll make your email life easier, but I just think it'll make your life easier. All right. Um, well, we're coming down to it. I know it's been, you know, a little bit over an hour and thank you everybody for staying around. Um, if there are any last questions, feel free to ask them, but Otherwise, you can always get a hold of us on support within the app, or you can write to us at help at um, Please let us know in the chat box if this was helpful for you all, if, if you guys had a good time today. Um, we love hearing back from you guys. We actually tell that we sit with the engineers and we report back on you know, what you guys think, not only of the presentations, but also of campaigns. So please feel free to let us know. Um, like I said, I've never seen anybody release something like this before. So we're, we're trying to make new ground here and we'd love to hear y'all's feedback, but we've gone through and tested them quite a bit. And we're, we're really excited for you to be able to get up and running with your campaigns quicker than ever because of these templates. So very excited for you all. All right. Well, as you know, we are going to continue to have really great um, assets as far as content for you all, um, more videos, more lookbooks, more guides, more tools. If there's ever anything you need, please feel free to get a hold of us. You can always leave a comment on the YouTube page. You can write into us. However you want to get a hold of us, you can let us know what you need. Like I said, we just built out a whole 
blog posts just on subject lines. Like, we'll, you know, we're, we're up for building a lot of things for you. Please feel free to let me know what you need and I'll, I'll get into it. Um, thanks so much for your time, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call it. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone.